Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and today I decided I'm going to do a review video, a coaster review video, but a Disney coaster review video. And let me know if in the comments below if you like these and I'll continue to do Disney ride reviews or coaster reviews from different parks while we're still in this lockdown and the parks are still closed. And so today I want to do something very interesting, like a compare and contrast. And I, I'm, I was gonna, I'm going to compare California for Screaming versus Incredicoaster at Disney California Adventure. And again, if you like this, I'll compare Tower of Terror and Guardians of the Galaxy at Disney California Adventure um, during the next video. But let's start with California Screaming and Incredicoaster. I do th this because it's kind of a, kind of a contra controversial retheme. The whole area, Paradise California Screaming is located in Paradise Pier, of course, in Disney California Adventure. Then the whole area got a retheme in 2018 to Pixar Pier. Took just six months to convert California Screaming to the Incredicoaster. I should tell you the job, the job they did right there. It wasn't much. It was the most expensive thing. I think they spent $100 million on the renovation to California Screaming. But they didn't really add much. But it's a, it's a quick coaster and it's already, they didn't do any track alterations. So it was uh, not much to like add. Uh, not much you could add, but in the original concept art, there was a four. There, um, they enclosed the scream tunnels. California screaming had three screen, or uh, yeah, three scream tunnels, and the the concept art for the credit coaster had a fourth. So we'll get to that a little bit later. So let's start California screaming. California screaming. Uh, I guess it would be considered a classic for California Adventure. Because it was the opening day attraction, 2001, or February, yeah, February 4th, 2001. It opened with the park. California Adventure opened with just a collection of rides, basically in Paradise Pier. Um, that's where the most of the rides were, besides Grizzly River Run and Soren. And California Screaming was the highlight of the attraction. It's the reason, one of the reasons why people would actually go to the park, the much maligned California Adventure. So, this is a launch coaster. It's Disneyland Resort's first launch coaster. You get launched from 0 to 55 miles per hour in about 4.8 seconds. And you get launched <laughs> through these screen tubes. The largest drop on the ride is 108 feet. It has one inversion, which is a vertical loop. And, um, yeah, the theme of the ride was like a boardwalk pier style coaster. Like, like something like that little, like the giant dipper Coney Island or you know just like Santa Cruz or Santa Cruz you know that's what the theme of this coaster was so that's why the supports are made like a wooden coaster it supports it's a steel roller coaster but it the supports look like it's a wooden wooden roller coaster because it's made for that yeah that Paradise Pier Victorian boardwalk vibe so that's its theme some people say it has no theme I get what they mean but honestly I mean I always thought I had a good a decent theme to fit the area which is again that Victorian um, 1920s you know, st tile style boardwalk coaster um, or uh, with the California Mitchell revamp turned to a Victorian boardwalk for you know, it was like some cardboard box trendy I don't know what it was but with the revamp it's the 1920s like boardwalk piers and it looked like a nice yeah it's a nice take on the wooden coaster so it's themed for that the queue definitely needs some work and needed some work and even in the credit coaster needed some work but I I genuinely like the coaster also the on ride soundtrack which will link above it's on I have the uh, soundtrack on my channel put the video in the suggestion on the right top right corner is absolutely amazing I loved jamming out to that um, soundtrack that custom made soundtrack by Michael Giuliano um, who was the uh, Actually, I don't know if it was my Michael Julian. He did The Incredibles, but in Space Mountain soundtrack. But um, the on ride soundtrack that was made for it was absolutely amazing. Absolutely loved it. And Ash, it's one thing I miss. And I like No Patrick Harris counting me down to launch, too. I miss No Patrick Harris, and I miss the soundtrack. But besides that, it's really not mu that much different. Now, um, the Incredicoast, and also the, the Scream Tunnels were installed not just for design there is called scream tunnels because the residents uh or of the nearby neighborhood there's like single family homes single family homes a couple of blocks away from the disneyland resort so people didn't want to hear those screams of 
California scheme until the original concept art they didn't have the scheme tells. But after some city planning meetings, the residents said, oh my gosh, I don't want to hear those screams, they Disney added those scream titles. That's why they were half and closed when the original ride happened. Just like Ghost Rider added that scream shield that wasn't originally like that, but they added that because of nearby residents. I happen to like the scream tunnels and the scream shield because I think it, it's a cool like architectural element, especially for Ghost Rider. Really, they not really themed it well in my opinion. And the scream tunnels, I like they're blue, but <laughs> I saw someone compare them to laundry tubes. And multiple people actually compare them to laundry tubes. I couldn't help but laugh because it kind of did did look like a laundry chute or laundry tube. The scream tunnels in California screaming. So I think that's definitely one improvement with the Incredicoaster, which now we'll switch over to in 2018, June 2nd or June, June 2nd or June 20, some more time in June, or June 8th, the Incredicoaster opened along with the rest of Pixar Pier. Well, kind of. Uh, the only thing is open with the Pixar Pal around, which is the rethemed Mickey's Fun Wheel, and the Incredicoaster. Everything else on Pixar Pier was uh, still under construction. But the Incredicoaster opened to much fanfare up into four hour waits, actually. I remember checking the wait times that morning. I, didn't, I wasn't personally there on the opening day, but checking the wait times and got up to four hours and multiple times during the day. So that is fantastic. The trains got a revamp. California Scheme had five trains, um, four in use at one time, but they're all different colors. The Incredicoaster trains now all have the same color, um, the same Incredibles, iconic Incredibles eye logo on the front of the train. They all play the same music, well, they all did in California Scream as well. But um, they play a uh, new Incredibles theme, uh, Incredibles score by Michael Giuliano, composed specifically for the ride, which is super cool. Still like California Scream, Screaming's the soundtrack better. But this one's not bad at all. I always love I love the Incredibles and love the Incredibles too. So definitely, and I definitely enjoy uh, going uh, riding along to some Incredibles music. Now they added some elements and closed the scream tunnels. So instead of instead of the laundry tubes, they and the half opened laundry tubes, they closed them up and they painted them red. Much needed paint job, which is great. And they added lights, lighting on the side of them. So at night looks absolutely beautiful and kind of a whimsical like Pixar here is supposed to be because whimsical Toy Story, um, Wall-E, Incredible, uh, Finding Nemo, Finding Joy. It's supposed to, all those movies are very whimsical like Disney's very whimsical and they add, add the whole Wii thing is very whimsical and they add the architecture and everything it looks great in my opinion. Um, the, a nice upgrade to Paradise Pier which I thought was fantastic except for the Victorian vibe. Of that some elements of picks up here I don't like the, the chicken stand but we can get that in a separate video but back to the credit coaster they enclose the scream tunnels and the first thought people had was when they enclose the scream tunnels is are they gonna put something in them and by golly they sure did they put um the first scream tunnel house is dash and it has lasers zooming zooming um inside the tunnels and then the second scream tunnels last girl and the Mr. Incredible, Mr. Incredible, Mr. Incredible's holding out a cookie, which actually smells like cookies. And they go down the drop, and right below the drop, and right by the exit is Jack Jack Cookies Num Num. So some nice marketing right there. Um, and then there's a Violet in the third Scream Tunnel, which was a really cool effect. It's like a, a Jack Jack's on fire, then Violet cools you down. At night, it's a really awesome effect. It looks cool from on the coaster and outside of the coaster as well. And on the launch, there's a uh, the water like shoots up. There's all these fountains that shoots up as if you're running on water, which is a, I think it's a nice little added effect as well. The one thing I don't like are the jack jacks on a stick. I think it past the third screen tunnel, you go on the little airtime hills above a Toy Story Midway Mania. It's all all the they get, the on ride audio goes. And they're multiplying. And you see all these tiny jack tracks on a stick, but you clearly see they're on a stick. Whether in the daytime or the nighttime, you definitely see they're on a stick. And just look really cheap and really like Six Flagsy. Definitely, done, definitely thought Disney could have done much better than that with that regard on that one. Um, and it's an, it's like a running joke between um, Disney Parks fans and Disney fans with the jack tracks on a stick. And also, they have a lot of static figures. Even at the beginning and end, the end has. Um, Jack Jack using his new power becoming like massive and Edna saying oh yeah we found him 
But those are just static figures in the beginning when and as the watching Jack Jack, they're both still static figures. And also on the second lift till when you're um, just going up slowly, Mr. Incredible and Alaska are both staggered static figures. I definitely thought they could add some animatronics in those four locate er, yeah, in those three locations. Because the train is definitely going slow enough that you're able to look, especially in that second tunnel, the largest hill before you go down the 108 foot drop. As you're climbing, you're able to uh, change something a slow enough you're in there for about, I'd say maybe between 15 to 30 seconds. And the train, you're, if there's some animatronics that if they're moving, it would be much more interesting to look, that, look at while you're in that tunnel, in my opinion. So that's definitely some complaints there. And the beginning and end. The the dash and violet scream tunnels, though. Know, they don't need animatronics because you're still you're just flying through those things, so it makes sense that they just have static figures. Other than that, though, the oh, no, there's one the one good thing about the credit coaster is they replace the loop, so I get kind of motion sickness. So on the California Screaming, every time I'd go on it, the loop would be kind of rough, so I'd come off a little nauseous. Got a little better. It got better each and every time I went on it. But it was like not pleasant, but with the credit coaster. The one they didn't touch any other part of the track. They did replace the loop, and I noticed immediately because I was able to get on the credit coaster and I got off. I got off and I was able to go on. I feel like I was able to go on again and again and again because I didn't feel any nausea. And the loop was super smooth. I noticed because the loop was definitely new. I saw them replacing it, um, and also with the new loop, it reminded me how dirty the rest of the track was. Keep in mind this ride hadn't got it. California Screaming has not got a significant refurbishment in about, it was like 16 years, close 2017. So, that whole 16 year period, it hadn't really gotten a good refurbishment. So, the track's getting rusty and dirty like it would be after 16 years of not basically not being touched up on. And of course, California Screaming is like breaking down a lot. Um, because again, no real refurbishment. But, when, it got the, when they got the new loop in there, the new loop was shiny and white, and the rest of the track, you can tell, just looked kind of rusty and dirty. And it's where they had six months, and they didn't like really replace the track or do anything, or even some of the stars. They had this, those gold stars on the facade, on the woodwork, or on the steel, steel frame, and even those are getting, they're getting rusty, and they were like not looking good. Um, but luckily, those are now painted over red on the credit coaster side and on these second helix or the other helix they're painted purple for the new inside out ride that's over there so that got fixed but I definitely think there's still rust above you can see if you're while riding inside out and sitting underneath that helix you can see the rust of the actual track itself so I was, I was hoping uh, they replace the track and hopefully in the future hopefully in the next like five years maybe they'll close down the credit coaster give it a nice proper refurbishment Replace the jack tracks on a stick with something else, or a better version of that. Get a strip of some track and put some nice shiny white track down. Just get a nice retracking because now it's been what? Let's see, over 2019 years since the ride. Everything besides the loop has gotten retracked. Um, but that's my review of the Incredicoaster. What do you guys think of the Incredicoaster versus California Screaming? Do you like uh, one more than the other? You like them both the same? Have you never been on either one of them? Because maybe you don't like roller coasters, um, or maybe you don't like, maybe you don't get up to Disneyland Resort that often, or maybe never been to Disneyland Resort. Comment your thoughts below. Which one you like better, and credit coaster or California Screaming? As well, comment below if you want me to do more of these videos. For example, like Tower of Terror at Disney California Adventure. Keep in mind just that one versus Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, which you know, which uh, I have some good thoughts, some real interesting thoughts about that one. So. Like the video, comment below if you want me to do that one. Subscribe for more theme park updates and cool video like, videos like this. Give me your suggestions below. And as always, have a fantastic day.